Hey guys, welcome back to another P3D video. Um, in the last video I did say that we we're going to go back into the Black Box A340s. Let's carry on our mini-series, but, I, but well, hey, we haven't been in the 747 in a while. And I thought we should just fly the, uh, the Mighty Queen of the Skies once again. Uh, so, there's a new airline to the channel. Don't know if you've done the Panzer flight before. Uh, definitely not in the 747. And uh, we're flying off to... Um, Bangalore. It's going to be about a nine hour flight, I'd say. Actually, no, <laughs> way shorter than that. Eight hour. Um, an extra hour of feed up there. So, eight hour flight down to Bangalore. Um, it's going to be fun. And uh, I've missed the 747. I really have missed it. Apparently, we're doing too far. But yeah, let's go and jump inside the cockpit. And uh, let's get things powered up. So it is a bit l laggy, I would say. Um, it's just uh, the Frankfurt Airport. It should we should get good frames at Bangalore because it is a very sm not small, but it's um it's the light version uh, by FS Development Group. So we got, we got, I got some power to the aircraft. Let's go and get stand standby power to auto. And it's going to align the IRSs. Get that started up. Emergency exit lights can be armed, and before we do anything else, let's go and do the fuel and payload. So, one, three, eight, five, seven, four is our amount. Our fuel be taken board, eighty percent. Uh, we're not needing that much. I just got that much just in case. And our zero fuel weight is two three seven point. Actually, it rounds up to two three eight. Let's put that in. Eighty seven point nine percent full. So that's that. We get back to the doors page. Ground connections, probably. No, let's go back to doors. So, let's go to the FMC on both FMCs. That one needs to go to the legs page. That's what I like to have it at. And position in it, we are here at Frankfurt, like I said. And uh, we're going at gate C14. Put our GPS position in. Let's go and shut those two doors. And uh, let's go to the route, Frankfurt to Bangalore, and uh, our flight number is Lufthansa 754. It's quite bright inside this cockpit right now. I, think, I don't know how the sun is directed at us currently. Uh, the runway we'll be taking off is 07 Center, a bit of long taxi today. Let me activate that and exit. Perf in it. Oh, we've done the zero feet weight, that just go inside. Uh, starting our cruise at 330. Step size, we can just be automatic, that is pretty much. Uh, it's going to do a random 85 in the cost index for the final reserve of 4.4. Like so. That's that pretty much set up. Uh, yeah, it's really bright in here. Have I got a dome light on or something? Okay, now it's fixed. Now it's not bright. I was wondering why is it so bright? It's weird. I'm making sure the dome light isn't on. If I remember where it is. No, it's not. The storm one isn't on. No. It's getting brighter and brighter. That's weird. Right, okay. So, this might be a PTA preset that's doing that. Right, a thrust limit page. We can go to the uh, D rate of just minus 5%. Assumes outside, outside temperature 25 degrees because that's an N1 of 98.8%. Flats 15 for takeoff. I think that's. No, not flats 15. Flats 10. I think that's a standard. Uh, no, flats 20. I do know that's flats 20. Yes, the cockpit gets brighter and brighter. Maybe it's simulating eye adjustment. That could be the the thing here. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. But I think this is a bit too bright. Uh, right. So those are V speeds. CG can go in at 20%. Depart and arrive. So out of zero seven center on the numbered one. Uh, numbered one D. So that, not that one. This one. 
execute that. Go to the legs page, make sure there's no discontinuities, that's good. Are we step climbing anywhere? We should be step climbing to 350 somewhere. 370, looks like. Alright. That's fine by me. Put the V speeds back in. So, V1 of 153, VR of 167, and V2 of 177. And yeah, it's really bright. Don't know why. Guess well, there's an aircraft there. That can't have just taken off. It must have had a. That must have been a go around there. Right, passengers are boarding, weren't they? When is the cargo going to or baggage? Sorry, going to arrive. There it is, just in the background over there. It might not become bright on the uh, on the video, but it seems good when they come in here, and then it gets all bright again. It's, it's definitely a PCA preset. We're going to search it up quickly. Right, yeah, I'm back. It was a HDR luminance adap adaption effect. Uh, it's been turned on. I should probably turn it off because it's really making everything so bright. Uh, so it goes straight to whatever, whatever we want. The passengers are boarding, Kanga's just about to arrive, so what I'm going to do is get the nav light on the passenger signs as well, because we forgot to do them. Hello. Like so. And uh, we probably get the AP started up, we've got tons of fuel on board today. There's nothing else we need to do on the overhead. Oh. So, I'll cut back uh, once the, uh, the baggage and passengers are finished and uh, we can get pushed back. Well, we'll set up the MCP first, then we'll get pushed back. Goodbye. Right, welcome back. Baggage loading has one. pretty much finished. Uh, boarding's nearly completed. Ba uh, passengers have boarded. Just There we go, boarding has completed. So, let's go and close the, uh, the after cargo door. That's ah, opening. There we go. Didn't mean to open that one. Oh dear. Let's set this to 2000. And weather and T, which I think is turbulence or terrain, one of the two. Um, let's go and set up our MCP here. So we're starting a cruise at 330. And uh, V2 of 177. Runaway heading is, bear with me. 068 like so wow it's bright so close that again we can close that door get rid of the jetway arm that door it's closing Jetway is moving away, that's good. That's still closing. I can see the screen getting brighter and brighter. So I can see the FMC. Right, that's done. That's good. Uh, we can go back to the ground connections. Make sure that AP generators are now active, which they are. Disconnect everything once the parking brake is set. Good. So we're good to get pushed back. Nose to the left. And uh, let's go finish off the MCP here. Don't know why. It, I should get it to default an HPA. It sinks, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, right, let's go and put that down to 5 traffic, data, and weather. And uh, the same over here, but just terrain instead of weather. Like so. That's all good. Engines are windmilling like a crazy thing. I would assume you get a bigger tug <laughs> for the aircrafts. Um, it's small. Uh, I'll say that. This is literally sitting underneath the 747. And uh, this looks massive from this view. Can 
the zoom is one, so this is what an actual person would see if they had this field of view. Wow, it's enormous. Parking brakes are released. We shall start at will. For some reason my thought was like that. Let's put it back in idle. Um, so, we're going to push back now. Uh, let's go and get the hydraulics into orcs along with the auto. Get all the fuel pumps set up. I think we've got a few in the centre. Let's put them on. Yes, we do. Uh, that's good. Packs and stay off until after the engine starts. I can't remember what packs they turn off and on uh, with loop hamster. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, so I'm going to turn all the packs on. Right. Let's go and uh, start the engines up. Let's get one, uh, four, and three. Sorry, and uh, get the fuel in. Make sure the engine page open. Got a tire seven four seven four hundred. I just let you know. Uh, this is a real world flight. The fans do fly into Bangalore. Uh, this one slight problem. They don't do it in the seven four seven four hundred anymore. They do it in the, the seven four seven. Eight. Uh, so I'm going. I might do the return flight of this flight once the expansion pack comes out for the Queen of the Skies, and I get the uh, the the expansion, which is the, the Dash Eight. Not Dash Eight. It's the Seven Four Seven Eight. Sorry. Right, let's get back inside. I don't know if you can see it on this video, but you can see it increasing. Uh, the light that is. Right. I need to turn that PTA preset on, which turns off this annoying thing. Uh, but that'll be going for the next video, which will probably be a stream, actually. The engines are slowly spawning up. And there's a weird glitch where it says FMC message when there isn't one, so we just have to live with that for the rest of the flight. If you click clear on all of them, but there is no message. Right, two and one, get that going. Start two and one then. Parking brakes are set. We're pretty much at the end of the runway. We've got a taxi quite a far distance. And like me, I always forget to start the timer. Let's turn the TCAS onto TA only. That's what I've learned to do it at the uh, pretty much after pushback. Right. The poor people who can't afford proper stand. They just park here. <laughs> Sorry. Air Canada's over here. Two triple sevens. This is a cool view. Yeah, so don't know how that tug pushed us all the way back. No wonder why it took so long. It's going backwards quite far. Right. Hopefully they get out of the way in a minute. Because I want to go. Party 1 and 2 are still starting up. And they've just finished. Oh, timing of that was a bit crazy. Yeah, so I've looked on the forums. And it's like e cast messages that won't go away. Um, apparently you make your own... Uh, Startup state, state. So I did that, and uh, hasn't worked. Right. Okay. One and two have started up. AP generators are off, so AP can come off. Hydraulic can come to auto. Packs can come to on. If any of you guys know what packs they use, um, let me know. Uh, we can go and get the beacon light on, and taxi and turn offs. But that's good for now. Let's go and do the flight control check. Full left, full right, all the way down, all the way up. 
Oh, left on the rudder. Right on the rudder. All the way. Good, good, good. Right. Bring a bit of engine power, at least the parking brake. Uh, should get a trim of 7.2 up. Let's put that in there. That's looking good. And uh, I'll get the uh, flaps down to 20 as well. Got a long taxi ahead of us. Uh, let me quickly talk through the taxi. Um, no, oh, now we're taxiing it too fast. When I thought we we're going too slow, we're going to turn all the way just all the way left here, which is up November three. And then we go into Lima. which is uh, on our right here and our runway is here um, but it's the wrong side <laughs> so we're going to go taxiing all the way down the, uh, the end of the runway like so let me just carry on hope it doesn't take too long hope this aircraft isn't directing right back at us no it's not, that's good I might skip the video for this as well. I'll see you when I just get a, just a tad closer to the runway 07 center. Goodbye. Right. Welcome back. Uh, just finishing off our little taxi down here. We're not going on to Lima 17. We're going all the way down to Lima uh, 20 and 21. Well, this is 17 and 19. Just here. You're hearing weird noises in the background that is my terrible rudder pedals that I have owned for ages not actually rudder pedals uh, they're gas and brake pedals that I've uh, remapped <laughs> right let's go and uh, go back inside the cockpit and uh, watch it brighten up right so here we are on the runway well not on the runway this is uh, where the runway is Let's go and taxi straight onto it because no one's coming. Or, or land. Uh, no one's taking off a landing. So we're good to go on this runway here. So let's go and get the land lights on. If I can get all of them on. Tax light can come off. Strobe light on. Um, we will be landing in the night. So I'm going to get the logo light on for now. Uh, probably I should turn it on when I get the gear down. No, it flaps down when you get back at Bangalore. So. Let's line up and let's get going. So, flight director's on. Start the timer. 50% on the N1. Everything looking stable. Let's go. So, we're looking for 98.3, but it looks like we've gone a bit too fast there. Let's try and get centre line. Airspeed's alive, we passed 80 knots years ago. I thought putting the throttle to full would uh, help it. Let's be one. Rotate. Yeah, so I thought putting the throttle to full uh, would mean that we would get, like, the, uh, the Togo to go to normal. That did not work. Uh, climbing like crazy. Sorry, I forgot, I forgot to say a uh, positive climb gear up. So, like I said, the FMC message is going to be there for the rest of the flight. But I know it's going to be there. I know there's nothing wrong. That's that's fine. 20 nautical miles there. Get to make sure Anav and Vinav are activated. Bring the nose down just a tad. And uh, through the clouds we go. I should start accelerating now. But I don't want to because we've got a tight corner coming up here. So I'm going to fly the aircraft manually for now. Just forget to set transition altitude. So I might not fly the aircraft manually. Let's get the autopilot turned on. Go down to VNAV. Transition altitude is 5000. It's getting a bit laggy over here. Let's go uh, 
should approach this turn soon, hopefully. It doesn't seem like we are, though. Looks like we're not moving. Okay, right, let's get the gear to off. Twenty-three uh, knot headwind. Wow. Let's zoom out on this camera view here. That looks suitable enough. Let's do the same on the other side, shall we? I like a so. Ah, we're returning. That's a good view. Don't know if FSX, FSFX has released a Sinful 7 immersion pack yet. They might have, I'm not sure. Well, let's get back inside the cockpit because we should start reducing some flaps now. All the way up. Uh, that will get us to accelerate and uh, climb a bit faster. So I did try and change the FMC message once, uh, not change the panel state, and that did get rid of it. I might have to force to set the, uh, because I set it to default load as my panel state, uh, but I should probably just uh, quickly set it as that panel state as well. That might help it sometimes. FPS is back. Here comes the transition attitude. And uh, the clouds as well. Just peeking over the clouds now. There is 5,000 feet standard pressure. That seems a bit too zoomed in as well. Don't know why. Right, I hope you enjoyed our takeoff with the 747. It has been a while. Hopefully, this uh, video gets some views, otherwise, this is a waste of time making a video with the 747. Whew. Right, I hope you enjoyed the cinematics. I'll see you in the descent. Yeah. What I just said, I don't know why I repeat it all the time. It's going to repeat it anyway. I'll see you in the descent. Enjoy the cinematics. Goodbye.
Hey guys, welcome back into the descent down into Bangalore with this Frankfurt, not Frankfurt, Lufthansa uh, 747. We just came from Frankfurt. Um, currently got the speed brakes out because we are trying to descend. Uh, actually, no, I can get rid of them now. Don't, don't worry about the speed brakes. Just a uh, fast descent. Uh, because, not because anything, it just is. Uh, so we're descending quite fast here. Uh, let's go and reset our transi transition altitude, uh, which is 7,000. So go to VNAV forecast and uh, enter in the transition uh, level, like so. That's entered. Don't worry about the winds. Uh, currently, we are looking for a. Uh, it doesn't matter what runway we land at, actually. It's not. Uh, the winds aren't fast enough. But the real world flight landed on 05, uh, so I think we should do that. I do have the tail light on. Oh, uh, Lug light, actually. I think it's called in the uh, the Boeings. Let's double check. Let's see what's over here. A Lug light, it is indeed. Um, it's quite a high altitude, actually. Uh, 2,000 feet, or uh, 3,000 indeed, actually, is our altitude uh, we're landing on. So it's a high altitude landing. And it's uh, quite a simple approach. As you can see, Mount, just, just that one for now. Uh, so let's go and bring this down to about 3,000, I think. Whereas I think it was starting at 3,000 is. Oh, let's starting at 5,900. <laughs> let's go and put that to out there. And uh, there's no set altitude for our go around. It's just so I'm going to keep it on 5,900 then. So it's like also throttle's not going to do that much. It's on hold currently. Um, don't know what that means. I think that means I can override it. Yeah. Um, until the speed dramatically changes and the uh, aircraft will uh, do what it needs to do, which is kind of cool. It's going to put it idle because that's not going to change that much. And that'll be good for fuel burn. Let's go back to the legs page. Yeah, we've got sim simple arrival. Uh, so currently the winds are at 110, I think it said. 110. And uh, we should be landing on. Is it 05? 09, sorry. I don't know why I said zero, uh, 05 earlier, but we're landing on zero 09, sorry. Um, yeah. Right. So the, the winds are going for 110, so that's a, it's not much of a crosswind. And also the winds aren't strong, so once again, it's not much of a crosswind. What's our time till we should be arriving? 2005 Zulu, which is currently 1955. So 10 minutes we uh, arrive. Hopefully, got quite a lot of fuel on board, so that will make us touch down uh, pretty hard. Uh, it's quite cloudy actually. Uh, apparently, out to the sky, so it's foggy. So we might have to. Uh, well, the visibility is 4,000 meters, uh, which is almost three miles, 2.5 miles. So we might have to do an ILS for the landing or to land. At the aircraft. See, you see the aircraft come out of hold, so it's gonna. It's gonna come to the speed now. That's fine. You can see it's actually quite foggy. There are some lights down there. You see the terrible quality of the clouds. So let's go and make sure I've got the fuel set up so sensor pumps are off and uh, cross feeds are off now along with the override pumps are off because we've got enough fuel for each engine. There's lo lovely stars there. Right. So, what's our altitude? Okay, we're not, not ready for the uh, lights yet, but we will be soon. And uh, I'm just going to get the cabin lights set up so we can get ready for landing. I'm going to bring it down to 50 for now. And then as soon we'll get it right down. We're about to enter the fog. 
now would be the time for FSX, FSFX to release their immersion. That'd be really cool. Don't have any immersion packs actually ready for any aircraft except the Aerosoft Airbus, which isn't compatible with P3D version 4 yet. You see our rival here actually. Uh, there's not, it's not very really mountainous here at all. And uh, it's a really simple arrival. And this is where the ILS starts and uh, straight in. So, I'm just going to get the lights on soon. But what I am, I am going to do, <laughs> I can't speak, uh, get the seatbelt signs on. And lights can come on now. So yeah, we're a bit delayed. It is eight hours actually of flying. Um, we had quite a bit of headwind coming up, uh, so that's a bit annoying. We are literally going in the clouds now. I can see the clouds rising, or fog actually, I should say. It's not cloudy. It's just foggy apparently. Well, it is pretty much cloud. So you can say that. Don't know what distance we are from the airport from where we are now. Don't know if we can find out anything. Uh, oh, that's a bit of lag there. It's probably loading the airport. Right. So we should, if we go to the ra the uh, the nav rad, uh, ILS 109.3 at 092. That is good. Thank you. It seems like we're already on the glide slope for some reason. Now it's slowly going away. I don't know if you can see the runway lights. It is foggy. Right, I'm going to bring the speed down of the aircraft. About 190. Uh, along with the flaps. One. Uh, let's go flaps five. I will slow our descent down, but we need to get descending aircraft. Uh, let's go and get the minimums done up and the uh, the Q and H as well. Minimums three thousand two hundred and five. This is gonna be fun. Just here scrolling for a while. Keep going all the way. 3,205. Don't like how this works. I like how they've done the NGX actually. 205. Oh, we need to get the QH actually, which is 1016. There we go. Let's go and set 205 in here. That's the last set of flats before we get the gear out. And uh, some reason getting really bad FPS. I don't know what that is for. Let's just slowly click our way. So five. There we go. FPS is back as well. Right. Approach. FPS is gone. <laughs> yeah, this is back. So we're on the localizer, so we're just lining up the runway now, and uh, we'll soon get on the uh, the glide slope. Bring the speed down to the debug speed of flaps ten. FPS is going and staying and doing its crazy things. I think it's all the fog loading in. It's uh, a bit crazy. We'll soon get on the glide slope.
Right, it's uh, slowing to uh, straighten up here. And uh, we'll be on the ILS soon. So it's going to slowly descend down to 5,900. Uh, just whatever, whatever the aircraft thinks is suitable. And then we'll get uh, onto the glide slope. Uh, we'll start descending. And uh, once we get on the glide slope, I'm going to get the gear down and uh, get the other flaps set. That just reminds me. Flaps 30 for landing today. What's our speed we should be landing at? 154. That's fine. We can set that speed now, actually. Almost in the glide state. There we go, on the glide slope. Gear. Flaps 20. Let's go and set the reference speed. 154. And uh, I'm going to let the aircraft land itself today. It's not nice weather at all. Right, gears down, green, and uh, flaps all the way down to 30. Looks like we're seven miles. Is that, is that, is that seven miles away from the? Runway. Is that, is that just wrong? Could be right. I think it's right. We've got lights on. Uh, Passenger signs are on. Gear is down. Flaps is set. Let's go and arm the speed brake. Landing checklist is completed. Yeah, I have that FMC message the whole flight. It's a, it's a bit annoying, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do any harm at all. Speed's jumping a bit. It's a bit weird. That much, uh, but fine. We're good. We're all fine. One thousand five hundred feet above the runway. Don't know if that's stars or not. If that's cars, I think they're stars. The aircraft is definitely landing. That's. I'm not doing this at all. Right. Let's bring this down to five nautical miles, and this one can come down to. 10, I believe that is a 10 or 20. I think it's 20. Yeah, you can see the aircraft, uh, it's got the, uh, the rollout and flare set up by itself, which is good. <laughs> uh, where are we? <laughs> ah! Hello. We see things. I wish I was in the wing view then. Oh, that was so, that's so annoying. We have the wing view there. All right. Let's get landing. Obviously, I'm not doing the landing today. I'm gonna let the aircraft do it. It's still quite foggy. If it's to do a go round, I'm not gonna be happy because you've seen my stream went to Innsbruck. Hmm. If it, even though it says stream ended, if you guys stop the, uh, watching it, uh, please skip on. Because I was just resetting up the sim so we can actually land the aircraft uh, when there was no weather. Uh, we actually landed it in the end, but it was still quite a high uh, landing rate there. Might have killed some passengers at 600 feet a minute. Approaching no. Aircraft's doing well. The scenery in the aircraft's lining up uh, with the pappy there. Well, I say that now, it's gone. Right, we're on the ground. I oh, should get idle reverse. I don't know if I put too much on there. And I did forget to set some auto brakes up. I was too busy looking at the uh, scenery there. But I think idle reverse will be fine. It's 4,000 meters long. And uh, what terminal are we going off to? Well, there's no terminal settings or anything. Let's keep the, uh, the slowing down of the aircraft going. Let's try and get up here. This looks good. Reverses can come in. 
Yeah, it's autopilot disconnected, I know. Right, flight directors can come off. And uh, go get the taxi, uh, taxi light on, land lights can come off. Clear up the aircraft. And I have no idea why I'm parking. At all. Uh, but let, let me get onto the main. Uh, probably we should taxi. Just stop here. Let's just stop here. Uh, bear with me. Just gonna find uh, our flight, and uh, we'll find out where terminal. Is it, I think it's a terminal two or something. Uh, which don't on the ultimate ultimate traffic. Just doesn't say that. It's, yeah, it doesn't actually say anything. I thought it said Terminal 2, and I'm probably looking at a different flight. Uh, but we're just going to find uh, GSX, find us a gate that we can park at. Uh, gate gate 8, that sounds better than Gate 2. Uh, so we're going to be doing. Uh, India will be fine for us. Gate 8 is not there. It is. Ah, it's pretty much right in front of us over there. I don't know if you saw that load in. And let's go over there. So we've cleared up. Uh, let's go and get the strobe lights off now. Uh, beacon nav light is good. Wing light can come on. Go and get the APU started up. That's stuck on start. There we go. And uh, we can stop the timer. 8 hours and 15 minutes, pretty much, is our flight time for today. Yes, yeah, so this is um, Bangalore by FS Development Group. It's really good. Scenery. It's a light version, so it only costs eight euros. Ex ex I think that's excluding tax. I can't remember. It's quite dark over there, actually. Don't know if there's any dynamic lighting. That's probably why it's a light airport. Didn't see any options to turn on any dynamic lighting. Yeah, it's quite dark. Can get a dome light on. We've got a marshal, that's good. Let's slow ourselves down just a tad. Slowly bring ourselves to a stop. Like a so, that's very close to a zero zero zero. My job, whatever it was, one of those zeros. Uh, let's go make sure we've got AP generators turned on before we shut down the engines, because that would be bad. Uh, shut down the engines, like so. Pumps can come off. And make sure we've got the cross feeds back on. And uh, there's a bit of scratch there. Hydraulics can come off, that is good. And uh, we can probably unalign the IRSs here. Emergency exit lights can come off now. Engines aren't engines aren't running. Beacon light can come off. League light can stay on. That's fine. And uh, welcome to Ban Bangalore. I think there's sewed, if I remember what GSX saying. Yeah, there's no dy dynamic lighting here at all. Jetway uh, A front. Yeah, it says A front to two left. I don't like that. A. G I don't know what I'm doing right now. So, let's think about this. Jetway A8, which is this one, the front one. Where's. Did I double. Uh, this is two. That's, uh, yeah, that's just weird. Um, it apparently goes to the back. Ah, okay. No, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I think there's going to overlay each other. Oh. I think there's a bit of a mix here. Yes. This one's going to come all the way across, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. There's a bit of weird uh, filing going on over, over here. I think I need to go into the configs to turn that off. Uh, but hey. Let's go and uh, request a deboarding. Let's get those two doors opened up, the ones that we opened. Let's make sure we got the cabin lights back to normal. Oh, 
open the map. Also, the cargo doors want to, want to open, like so. But yeah, let's just finish here. That's disappointing. I'll try and fix that in my own time. But I hope you enjoyed our flight today from Frankfurt to Bangalore. Uh, we'll come back next week with the uh, the black box AC 40s. Um, we might do an Air Mauritius and like Virgin flights, maybe. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, closer to time, we'll find out. Like normal, be streaming on the weekend. Uh, probably just one stream a weekend, one video a weekend, uh, a week, sorry. Uh, that's probably how I think everything should go. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed our video uh, from Frankfurt to Bangalore. I'll see you uh, next time. Goodbye.